Hey, what's up guys? Just figured I'd give you a quick update on where we're at with the construction project of my basement. Uh, I've done about, I don't know, I'm out of breath right now because I have to go up and down the stairs a million times to go get my lumber. So I'm cutting everything outside and then bringing it down. I didn't want to bring it down and then cut it. Seems silly. Anyway, um, where are we at? Okay, so yeah, I've spent about, I don't know, 18 hours? No. Yeah, maybe close to 18 hours on working on this so far. I didn't tell you guys last time, I'm not working on this every day. I still have my regular stuff to do at my other house before I move to this one. So I'm only coming here when I have free time to work on this. And then I'm still doing other things to update the house upstairs too. So I'm not strictly working on this. So it might be a little bit slower going than you might have expected. But this is what we have so far after 18 hours. I think for not being a professional framer, it's a decent amount of work so we got our main wall back here done this is coming down the steps i hate how tight this i wish i had my other camera anyway this is my phone again so this is the main wall then here's the bathroom i wanted to get the bathroom framed out first so i did that um because that's important you have to be able to go to the bathroom no uh, it doesn't really matter i did the 30 30 inch door i think for the bathroom because you don't need a huge door to get into a bathroom you're not probably carrying a bunch of big things what I'm going to do is I'm going to not put a shower and that's this drain over here. Going to get rid of that. Don't need a shower. Toilet's going to go right there. And then I'm going to have a big, like a utility sink. It's not going to be like a normal bathroom because it's in the basement. Nobody's going to be using it unless they're doing stuff in the basement. So you'll be able to use the toilet, but then it's also going to have, like I said, the utility sink. It's going to work like a regular sink, but it's going to have a big metal sink in it rather than a small ceramic porcelain one. I don't think I'm going to do granite down here because you don't need granite in the basement for this kind of thing. So I'm going to do some kind of big, big type of vanity with a bigger sink and a big faucet. And it's going to be a utility slash bathroom, utility sink slash bathroom. And I started on the hallway because it's the outside of the bathroom. So bathroom is inset just a little bit. Hallway pops out this way. Hallway is going to go this way. I was going to, I'm just going to have the drywall be where these studs are here. I was going to pop out, you can see where I drew it, and make the wall that way, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to change my mind. I'm just going to do a little pop out for the um, for the pillar, whatever you call those things. I don't know what they're called. <clears throat> pier? No. Beam. No. Pier. Anyway, um, then that's going to go back over. It's just going to pop out right here. I decided I I'd rather have a bigger hallway other than where this guy is since I can't move him. And I'm going to cut this off right here and just extend this. So my hallway is going to be a little bit wider over to here where the other wall is going to be right in line with this beam and right there. So I'm going to have a door somewhere here. I have to figure that out today. Got this doorway in. This is the storage room. 36 inch doors for the storage room and the main uh, review room because I want to be able to get in and out easily. So this is going to be a right hand door. So you're going to go in this way, open the door. I put it right against the corner here so that the door opens, takes up as little space as possible. Door will be right here. Storage rack of all my bins will be there, and then we have extra storage in this area here for household stuff, that kind of thing. One of the reasons this is taking me longer than normal, I would say, uh, is because I'm I'm not I'm like going around the beams and plumbing and that kind of stuff, so it's just a little bit more annoying than than a normal wall. Like I can't just build a bunch of easy walls. Like on that wall, I'm going to be able to just fly i'm gonna have so many so many wall chunks 10 foot wall chunks that are just gonna go f straight up easy but around these areas it's, it's just kind of annoying but anyway so that's the storage room and the bathroom done this is going to be the review area over here like i mentioned before so today what i'm going to do i'm going to try to get this wall done i'm going to put a little like trap door in the wall here for getting to that clean out then that's going to be a straight wall other than the windows and up here. So that's going to suck. I have to cut around that for the wall. And then freaking egress windows. I hate that there's egress because it's not going to be a bedroom, but whatever. So I have to frame out the windows too. But they're big windows, so that'll actually make it probably easier. So anyway, what I'm going to do today primarily is to get this. There's going to be a little chunk of wall right here. And then the door is going to go there. That's another 36-inch door for the review room. And then we're going to go to about here probably it's five inches over from that line we're going to shoot the hallway wall straight down to connect to that and then we have this wall here that's going to go over that way we're going to build that wall out probably today too and then that cuts around the utilities the uh what you call it what you call it mechanicals that's just concrete that's not water <laughs> don't worry 
Uh, somebody said the concrete looks like it just got poured. No, this just happens to be a really good concrete job in the basement. But yeah, I'm just going to leave this corner here because like I said, the wall is going to cut here from, from that. It's going to go all the way to here. So I'm just going to leave this corner in, in the work area. So you're going to be able to walk around the stairwell just a little bit right here. Not a ton of space. But you're going to be able to walk around there and get to... Well, you're not going to be able to get to much. But you'll be able to get to some stuff in here if it needs work on the other side of the hallway wall. So the finished stuff, the only thing that really needs to be accessed on the finished side is going to be right here. These guys. And then I have my water lines. I had a, When I had the plumbing out here to do the gas work, because I didn't want to do gas, I had them get my plumbing started. So I can just branch off of these for the bathroom over there. Anyway, I'm not doing ceilings. If you didn't see the first video, check it out. I'm just going to paint everything black in the ceiling. So uh, we're going to have drywall up to the joists, the floor joists. And then everything will just be painted black above that. Same thing for like the beams and stuff. And um, I think it'll work out. But that's where we're at. So haven't started with electrical at all. Uh, but electrical is easy. It's fun. So that'll be fun to update you guys. And then... So yeah, this wall, hopefully I can finish this corner today, and then up through right there today. No, I don't have a ton of time today. But yeah, this wall is just going to be flying just easy, easy, easy until we have to frame out the um, circuit box. And then even that corner, also very easy. The only part that's going to be really annoying is around here. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to even do it, frankly, because there's a lot of duct work here. Oh no, I don't have to do it over here. I only have to do it once over here when I bring it out. So the wall is going to be in line with the beam here. Where's my finger? There it is. So the beam, the wall is going to be here. And then it has to come all the way over to here. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do that and make it strong. Yeah, I guess we'll see. I don't know. I'll figure that out. I might stick a board. No, I can't even. There's cold air return every well. Where are we at? I'm going to work this out with you guys right here. We're going to be right about here. I might be able to get in there and stick a board just to secure everything a little bit. And bring it down just to give the wall some stability. This isn't structural. Everything I'm building is uh, basically just a way to hang drywall and run electrical. I'm overbuilding it because I hate walls that wiggle when you close a door and I don't want a door to sound hollow and everything. I'm using solid doors too. I'm building it solid, but it is just... Their interior partition walls, really, so I can kind of do whatever I want. But uh, I guess that's where we're at. So, and it's annoying working on concrete because it's not even. Even though this is a great basement, it's not even. So you can see my boards are perfectly even. I checked, but you can see like right here, we're just a touch away from the beam, and then over here, there's a bigger touch, and then like so there's a gap there, which is annoying, and I hate that kind of stuff. But it's it would be way too much work for me to make the wall like flush at the bottom and at the top because you, then you have different sized studs and I don't want to bother with that and it's just for holding drywall so who cares my OCD is killing me framing is not a thing for people with OCD but whatever it's okay I don't actually have OCD so I'll get through <laughs> but anyway yeah that's where we're at so I'll give you guys an update in a little bit once I get a little bit more stuff done probably not just what I said today I'll probably have for the next update we'll probably have already framed around the mechanicals and at least up to that corner over there i think i don't know we'll see but there it is guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed these things let me know and i will keep making them if not i'll stop all right goodbye